Track and Trace for Car Body Parts. My name is Robert from Schulerpressen. I am product owner and responsible as project manager for digital automotive solutions. Hi, welcome from my side. My name is Timo and I work for Porsche and I'm project manager for the Smart Press Shop. Timo, can you tell us a little bit more about the Smart Press Shop and your function? Porsche and Schule have set up a joint venture for the production of car body parts. It operates as an independent company, a new supplier on the market. The plant is located in Halle an der Saale nearby the Porsche Leipzig plant. It is built on a 13 hectare site which can be expanded up to 50 hectare. Together we are investing over 100 million euro in this project, which is expected to create more than 100 permanent jobs. The first parts will be produced in May 2021. The press shop starts with one laser blanking line and one extra large press line. The aim of this cooperation is to build the world's most modern press plant. We are using state-of-the-art technology and maximum digitalization of the production process. We want a totally transparent production process where all information of the process is linked to each single part. I am able to follow one part through the whole production process with every related process parameter. We are absolutely convinced of our concept and believe that it will generate potential for other press shops as well as for other customers. Timo, this sounds like collecting big data. What is the advantage of the track and trace solutions? What benefits do you expect? A big advantage is the transparency in the process to make errors visible. All data is linked with one unique part ID. By assigning defects to each individual component after the forming process, we enable smart defect management and a closed quality control loop. This allows quality and machine availability to be increased. In the future, we expect even more benefits from the use of artificial intelligence and big data methods. Another advantage is that our customers can also retrieve track and trace information via the component ID. Robert, can you tell us how Schuler implemented the track and trace system and what makes it so unique? When we talk about a track and trace system for a press shop, we have a strong focus on the forming parts quality. The parts quality is usually defined through its geometry, its surface quality and its mechanical properties. These characteristics are affected by environmental influences as for example the storage conditions. The next category is the physical properties of the processed material like the tensile or the yield strength for example. Looking at material parameters representing the ductility and the formability of a sheet material are also very important as well as roughness and lubrication having influence on the tribology system of the forming process. The third important group is the production parameters of every relevant production stage. These can be the re-oiling values for example, the drawing forces, the forming speed and many many more. By recording and linking of all this information into a big context, we always try to answer two questions as fast as possible. How quickly can we recognize errors? And where is the cause if an error occurs? Looking at the potential of AI like machine learning, there is an additional point we want to solve in future. How can processes be made more stable and errors avoided in advance? This is the reason, by the way, why we designed the communication between the track and trace system and the production line control bi-directional from the very beginning on. 
Looking at our design principles, we focused on five major points. In the first step, we wanted to have a consistent solution for the press shop, from the coil to the finished part. Then we wanted to have a simple and resource optimized integration by using the existing hardware and the control structure of our lines. A scalable and flexible infrastructure. Then we wanted to have a comprehensive connectivity and open APIs for further applications. And as I mentioned before, we focused on the future oriented solution with a bi directional communication between the track and trace and the production line. Also with the possibility of implementing optimized control loops for more stable process controls. Let me show to you which components of track and trace we have available today. Starting with the laser blanking line. We scan the coil ID during the setup procedure. In a further backend process, the coil parameters from the supplier's test certificate are loaded. This information from, is from now on available until the finished part is built in a car body. Within the coil line, additional sensors can be integrated to measure the coil thickness, the roughness, lubrication and so on, at the reference of the coil length. Before cutting the coil into blanks, a laser is marking the unique part ID onto the sheet material. This can be done so light that the coat is invisible after the paint job. We have the advantage of a complete integration into the existing laser cabin, which guarantees a good accessibility in the case of maintenance. A short distance to the cutting process enables a precise coat position in reference to the outer contour. All relevant parameters of the marking and blanking process are recorded as well and linked to the path ID. This can be setup values as well as measured process values. Optional, we have the possibility of scanning of the pallet ID to attach the unique blanks to a specific carrier. Let us switch now to the press line. After loading the pallet and destack it with a robot, the part ID is read with the camera. If one or two characters are not identifiable, the code can be reproduced with the integrated error correction. Once the part is identified, the line control tracks through all production and press stages until end of line. A specific part layout can be taken into account as well the fact if a part is separated in a specific stage into two parts. Again, all relevant process parameters like the re-oiling values, the cushion forces, the forming speed and many many more are saved in the database for live view or a deep analysis later on. It is possible to integrate additional sensors like vision cameras within the press line and save the evaluation results to the unique part ID. If the press line has an integrated system of quality inspection, we are also able to link the results of this measurement. By realizing this, we can achieve the maximum of transparency and a closed quality control loop. In the end of line area, a tracking until the part container with different solutions is possible depending on if the press line has an automated tracking system or manual destacking. All important information is displayed on live dashboards, either at the blanking line or the press line. Those screens give a clear view at the actual production. For a deep drill down analysis, the application allows many different views and filter functions. Finally, let's have a quick look on the architecture and connectivity of the track and trace solution. All field components are networked on the production line's OT network. 
The communication to the track and trace core system is done by IIoT gateways. The integration service is collecting all product relevant data and saving it in the backend database for the application. In case of smart pressure, the SAP Digital Manufacturing Cloud is connected as well for data and information exchange. But any customer's ERP and ME system can be attached by an interface. With our architecture, we can achieve either edge solutions, but also cloud connectivity. This was a short overview about our track and trace solution, which is embedded in our digital suite. Thank you, Robert, for the information. It was very interesting. I'm looking forward to see the system online. Thank you, Timo, so much for joining this presentation. And thank you for watching this presentation. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us.